We've had a ton of questions, people asking about our hard gel system, Synergy Gel. Today, we're gonna take you through the components. We're gonna break it down into four categories and simplify it in a way that makes it really easy to understand. Right now, on Nail School. All right, man, Synergy Gel, tell us all about it. <laughs> so we've been getting a lot of direct messages on uh, the components and the differences between the components. So what I wanna be able to do for you today is explain to you each component and each category so that you guys have a really good understanding on what you're going to be working with. This is going to be part A of a two-part series. I'm gonna be explaining the components today, and then on the next series, I'm gonna show you guys how to use them. Here are all the components. So you're probably thinking like, wow, that, that's a lot. But honestly, it's really easy. It's one, two, and three. Right here are the white gels. I'm going to explain to you, these are used for French. I'll explain to you the color and the consistency, but if you're looking at the system as a whole, you're looking at a base gel, a builder gel, and you're looking at basically gels to protect with shine and stain resistance. So I'm gonna be able to explain those to you as well. So I like to compare this system to like building a home. And in order for you to have a structure that's not going to collapse, you need a strong foundation. And that foundation is base gel. After the nails are prepared correctly, you're going to apply a nice thin coat of base gel to the natural nail. And as you can see, it's a nice self-leveling consistency that is extremely easy to pick up. You're going to be able to pick this up with your brush. You're going to be able to apply a nice thin coat to the natural nail, and you're going to set this inside the light for a minimum of 30 seconds before you get to building. Our builder gels, I'm gonna split them in two. You have self-leveling and you have non-leveling. You have flex, you have build, you have build pink. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference between all three of these. Flex, build, and build pink. All three of these gels are incredible for building nails as well as mixing glitter to build enhancements as well. The difference between Flex, Build, and Build Pink is this. If you take a look at Flex compared to Build, Flex runs a lot faster. Take a look at how fast Flex is moving. All right, so you guys see that? The self-leveling nature of flex is moving a lot faster than build. Both of these gels are incredible for building nail structure and incredible for mixing glitter enhancement. Build pink is build, but it's tinted pink as you can see. They both have the same self-leveling nature. The only difference is one is clear and one is a tinted pink. Also incredible for building nail structure and mixing glitter enhancements. We have two concealer gels, concealer peach and concealer pink. Both non-leveling sculpting gels. As you can see on the right, we have concealer peach and on the left we have concealer pink. They don't level. They are fantastic for building sculptured nails and basically concealing any imperfections in the natural nail. And last but not least, clear sculpture. It is our clear sculpting gel. It's our clear sculpting gel. As you can see, there are no self-leveling features to this. This gel is incredible for creating a thin gel free edge so that you can do perfect French sculptured application. If you were doing French application, we have two types of white gels. We have white sculpture 
and snow. White Sculpture is our super intense white sculpting gel and snow is our moderate white sculpting gel. And as you can see, white sculpture is much wider than snow. And last but not least, we have our finishing gels. They can be used for different types of purposes. Let me explain to you how easy it is. The new stain resistant top coat can be applied and cured for 60 seconds. The best part about this gel is the intensity of the shine and its resistance to any type of staining. The dispersion layer must be wiped off. Finished gel is our non-tack finishing gel. It can be applied thin to the enhancement and cured for two minutes. And last, we have gloss gel. The best part about this gel is it can be applied on top of any enhancement to give additional strength if needed. It must be cured for a minimum of 60 seconds and the dispersion layer must be wiped off. This is incredible for resisting any type of staining and it's incredible for gel polish application. The system is extremely easy to use. It's a matter of one, two, three. You have your base gel, you have your builder gel, and you have your shine. The French is just an extra way for you to create that elegant French look. By breaking down the components and showing you guys what they are, this is going to give you a really good understanding if you're looking to get into the system. I can't wait to show you guys how to put them to work.